Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download, install, set up and use a Monero GUI wallet. Now I've had a Monero GUI wallet for several years and it's been great. But there are several ways you can set up the GUI wallet and it also has some bugs. So I'm going to show you how to set it up in a way so that you shouldn't have any issues. However, if you do, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to GitHub to give you access to the Monero community. So just in case you have any issues in future and you can't find an immediate answer online for your issue, you can contact the Monero community directly using that link. And when I've contacted them, they were super helpful and nice. So, and they managed to sort out my, my issue. Okay, so now what we need to do first is we need to go to the official Monero website, which is getmonero.org, as you can see on the screen. And once you land on the website, you need to go to downloads in the menu. And once the page loads, you need to scroll down and go to downloads and click on the operating system that you've got. In my case, I have a Mac and I'm going to be downloading the file into my downloads folder. The file is almost downloaded. So I'm going to be moving my folder over here to the center of the screen. It's done. So I'm going to click the file to open it. And as you can see there, it's got three different files inside. So here we go. I'm going to put the Monero GUI wallet into applications. And I'm going to click it to open it. And now I've got to just click open. This is what you will see as soon as the Monero GUI wallet opens. So you need to select the language you prefer and press continue. Now you need to select the mode of the wallet. I used to use simple mode in the past, but I now use advanced mode because I have more control of the node that the wallet connects to. Because I had sent some funds to my Monero GUI wallet, but they weren't showing up under simple mode. So I had to switch it to advanced mode uh, to change the node that I was connecting to. You can still change simple modes to advanced mode in future, but I'm just going to show you first off how you just set it up with advanced mode. Even though advanced mode says that you're going to download the blockchain onto your computer, you can select to change it to use a remote node instead. So the blockchain won't download onto your computer, which is what I'm going to do. Now, as you can see, you can either create a new wallet from scratch or else you can restore an existing old wallet, either using the Mononic seed or using the hardware wallet that you own, if you own one. So even if you had to completely delete the GUI wallet from your desktop, you'd still be able to go to the Monero website again, redownload the GUI wallet and set it up using the Mononic seed or the hardware wallet and none of your funds would be lost. So even if your Monero GUI wallet got corrupted somehow, it's not a problem whatsoever. So as you can see, you can create a new wallet from a hardware wallet, so either a ledger or a trezor. But today I'm going to focus on creating a new wallet using a Mononic seed that the GUI wallet will show you. So over here, it's going to tell me all the information. I can set the wallet name. I'm going to call it Monero test. And I'm going to test one. I can set the wallet location and I'm going to copy this Mononic seed. Now I'm going to copy this onto 
a digital document because this is just for the video and I'm not going to be using this wallet but you'd need to store this saved phrase offline somewhere safe where no one will get access to it and then I'm going to copy the wallet height Press next and here we go now it's asking me for a password now this is so that anyone that has access to my desktop computer cannot access the GUI wallet they need the password to do so and if you happen to lose the password it's not a problem because you can re-download the GUI wallet from scratch and set it up again using the mononic seed and you can set a new password there and then when you set it up again. These day one settings have the nodes that I am currently using at the moment, which is working fine for me, so I'm just going to press next. Now it's telling me that I'm all set up, so all I need to do is press create wallet. Now it's asking me to input my password again. Now I don't want to have a local node, so I'm going to use custom settings and I'm going to select remote node. Now I've got to wait for the wallet to synchronize, so I'm going to wait until the bars are fully loaded and I'm going to get back to you once it's done. I've left the wallet for a while and now it's finished syncing as you can see over here. So now I can show you how to send Monero into your GUI wallet. So what you'd need to do is go on to receive. And now you'd need to copy your Monero address over here. And you'd need to input this Monero address into the exchange that you've used. Or give it to anybody that needs to send you Monero funds. So I'm going to hop on to the exchange and send my Monero to my GUI wallet right now using this address. I've left the wallet for a while and now the funds have come through, as you can see over here in the top left. So now I'm going to show you how to send Monero out of the GUI wallet. So you need to navigate to send over here and now you need to put input the receiving address of the person that you would like to send your Monero to. So I'm going to paste it over here. And if I like, I can select this infinity button to send all of my Monero. Alternatively, I can input the amount over here. So I don't have to send the whole amount. And next thing I need to select is the transaction priority. I can either leave it at automatic or else I can select the how fast or how slow I, I want the transaction to be processed. Now, if I select slow, I'll have to pay a lower fee. But if I want the transaction to go through faster, I have to pay a higher fee. So that's up to you on how, what sort of a priority you've got when you're making payments. So then once you've sorted out all of that, all you need to do is press send. And then you need to confirm the transaction. And over here, Monero, the Monero GUI asks you for your password again. So this is just in case you've had it open on your desktop and someone else has decided to try and send funds. So it's just a more security just in case and that's it now it's the transaction has been confirmed and it's been and it's successful that's it for today please like and subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching